What's up guys, it's your boy Justin, and today I'm making a video on offsets in Dynago and what to do when CSGO updates if the cheat's not working and you don't want to wait for me to update them. Because um, last night there were about 15 hours where the offsets on my server were outdated and everyone freaked out and no one knew what to do. Um, so I got a bunch of comments about it, a bunch of Discord messages, and it's really not that hard to update on your own. Obviously, while I still maintain Dynago and all that stuff, I'll still update them, but I'm only human, so it might not happen instantly all the time. So, you know, it took like 15 hours this time for me to do it. Um, it probably usually won't take that long, but I just wanted to explain how the offset system works and uh, all that stuff. So in the future, there's not as much worry and panic when Dynago stops working for you. So right here, I have the newest version of Dynago at the time of this video is re being recorded. Um, it is 3.3. And I'm just going to open it up real quick and log in. Okay, so we're only going to focus on the offsets tab today. No, nothing else really matters um, for the purpose of this video. Um, anyway, when you open up Dynago and you're in the offsets tab, uh, you'll see three offsets that are already set. These are dormant, zoom level, and IFOV. These three offsets are not included in the... Uh, the dumper that is used by default for the formatting um, in Dynago. So that is Haze Dumper. That's what the program's called. Um, if you scrape from Justin Offsets or GitHub slash Haze Dumper, they're in the same format. And Justin Offsets is just an option because sometimes I update them quicker than the guy on the GitHub or, or GitHumper, nice, on the GitHub for Haze Dumper. Um, so that's why that's an option. So, usually mine will work, but if they're not working and CSGO had an update or something, um, the second thing you should do is try the Haze Dumper GitHub. And then if those also don't work, then you can update them yourself. So, go to unknowncheats.me. This is the, the home page on there. Go to unknowncheats.me, it'll take you to like this page right here. Um, go to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive section. And then the first pin thread, um, you'll see it says global offensive struck slash offsets. Go to the last page of that, and you'll see a bunch of people post offsets. Your best bet is probably go to the last posted one. So here is a list of offsets that was like just posted uh, less than a half hour ago. So I'm just going to take this post and open it in a new tab by clicking the number right here. So this just makes it easier to like search for them um, with Control F. And then what you would do is you'd go through each one. You could change offsets by either double-clicking um, the offset you want to change. So right now I'd be changing local player as it says right there. So you could search up the local player offset. Um, and this is a different local player. Do not... If you see a local player that's like this small, it just means the one under uh, DW client state get local player. It's completely different from local player in general. That's this one right here. This looks like a more correct size. So usually it'll be like six digits hexadecimal and if there are zeros at the beginning ignore those but it'd be, it'd be like six hexadecimal digits right here um and just hexadecimal versus decimal if it has a zero x in front of it or if it has letters in it that's usually meaning that it would be in hexadecimal format and if it doesn't if it's just a normal number like 1053 for example that'd just be decimal format um so i'm just going to copy this and then put it in here click change value and you can see now local player set to that. So what you would generally do probably is scrape it anyway, and then go through anything after these first three and check, uh, check it against the last list and anything that isn't the same as that list, you should change. Um, you can also click manually modify offsets and it's a lot easier. Like it says up here, anything that begins with zero X in front of the number will be uh, assumed to be hexadecimal and anything else will be decimal. Um, and then anything that's decimal is just converted to hexadecimal to be displayed on here. So, for example, if I entered 10 for... Actually, let's do 16. If I enter 16 for DW Local Player and I click Save Changes, then um, DW Local Player becomes 0x10 on here because 10 or 0x10 in hexadecimal is the same thing as 16 in decimal. That's just kind of how it works if you've ever taken like a, a course on computer science or if you just do some basic googling you can figure that out um and why that works that way but it's not really that hard so people really shouldn't freak out when offsets are updated if you have any questions let me know in the comments and that's it peace